And a good Sunday morning and welcome to Weekend Recharge. I'm Paul Goodlow. I'm Molly McCollum. And I'm Lynette Charles. America's Weekend depends on the weather. And I will say you look like spring, especially you that You do top. look like spring. You do. Okay, like that. A little, a little pop of lips. color. That's the crocus and daffodils are popping up outside. Exactly. For some people. For some. <laughs> and, and others, you're watching the snow come down right now. We've got all seasons, really. We've got the clash of the season, which is so typical exactly. of March. Yeah, so let's slide right warning. In fact, we've got areas like Colby, Kansas, through North Platte, Valentine stretching right up into southern central portions of South Dakota. Outside of that, we have a number of winter storm warnings, winter storm watches, winter weather advisories, you name it. Even if you're not seeing blizzard conditions, wind is going to be an issue for everyone. This is an incredibly windy system. You see these white lines. Those are isobars, lines of equal pressure. They're stacked really closely together. That means everyone is, is seeing the wind. And we even have a little bit of uh, lightning being uh, reported just south of the Omaha area. Just shows you the dynamics of this system, very dynamic. But then we have snow that's spreading and filling in places like Rapid City, Minneapolis. You've been in and out of the snow all morning long, and we're not reporting snow right now in the Twin Cities, but a lot of areas are, including Bemidji, as well as Duluth, Bismarck, where we're already gusting to 25. Madison, you're not quite in the snow yet, but it is coming in your direction. Right now, we're seeing wind gusts to 31 miles per hour in Omaha. We have the lightning just south of that. It's a very cold rain at 37 degrees. That is not comfortable at all, especially when you factor in the wind. But here's how things will progress as the day goes on. Keep a close eye on the wind speeds because that's going to do a number. Yes, on our wind chills, what it feels like outside but also the visibility as the snow is coming down in Bismarck, Minneapolis, Rapid City. And because the temperatures are hovering right around that freezing mark, this is a heavy, wet snow that's coming down. So with the combination of that snow, the weight of the snow and the wind, power outages are something we have to think about as the day goes on. So make sure you're charging your devices now. By Monday morning, we still have the wind in North Platte gusting to 40. We're still in the rain in Omaha where we're gusting to 25, 30 miles per hour. It's an uncomfortable cold rain, but look at the twin cities. We kind of go back and forth between precipitation types. So we start in the snow. That's where we are today. By tomorrow morning, we'll likely see a couple of hours at least of some rain. That's going to eat away at some of your snowfall amounts. But then we're back into the snow by Tuesday morning as the system starts to lift off to the north into the northeast into Canada. So how much snow are we talking? There will be some areas that walk away with a foot maybe even two feet of snow, what you're seeing in this pink area in southeastern portions of Minnesota. But there's a big swath where we're expecting at least 8 to 12 inches of snow. And then what you see in the dark purple, 12 to 18 inches of snow. And Lynette, in, in many places, like the Twin Cities, that's almost more snow than we've seen all winter. Yeah, it sure is. And the that Twin Cities. Tornadoes. So let's take you into one of those cities, thanks to our virtual view technology. I'm standing in New Orleans. It's a mix of sun and clouds today. Perfect ending to your week. Weekend, but severe thunderstorms spreading over the entire state of Louisiana by tomorrow. This is what it's going to look like for us as you start off your work week and your school week if you're not on spring break. And damaging winds, hail, and even tornadoes possible. I would say damaging wind is going to be the primary concern. But as the afternoon and the evening goes on and we see lines of thunderstorms, we can see embedded tornadoes within those lines. Here's the area that we're concerned about for tomorrow. The entire state of Louisiana, it stretches over into Greenville. Jackson, Hattiesburg, Gulfport, all the way up into south central portions of Arkansas and over into East Texas. Here's our Torcon values. What you see in those bright pink colors, that is a Torcon of three. Yes, it's on the lower end of the scale, but anytime we have a number, we have a threat. So what does a three mean? It means severe thunderstorms are likely. We will have those. A few tornadoes are possible, and we could find ourselves under a tornado watch. And that's basically telling you that conditions are ripe for tornadoes to form. A tornado warning means take immediate action, put that severe weather plan into place. And it's always good to have that severe weather plan ready to go anytime in the springtime and really any time out of the year along the Gulf Coast where we can see tornadoes any month, but especially in the spring. So let's get you the timing of this. This is Monday morning as we're watching storms roll through Little Rock as well as Alexandria. This is in the afternoon. They start to go upscale in the afternoon and they become a little bit more intense as they're tapping into the instability, the daytime heating, the moisture that's streaming to the north. This is 11 o'clock, so now a lot of us are asleep. We're seeing those thunderstorms roll through Jackson, Mississippi, eventually over into Birmingham by the time we start off very early on Tuesday morning, and then over into the New Orleans area also on Tuesday morning, just as you're starting off your day. Nighttime tornadoes, of course, 
they are even more dangerous than what we see in the daytime. In fact, they're two and a half, uh, two and a half times more likely to kill than daytime tornadoes, and that's simply because people are asleep. They don't get those warnings. They don't have time to get to their safe spot. So now this is your warning that you have to have something that will wake you up in the middle of the night in case you do find yourself under a tornado warning. And Paul, there's also the threat for flash flooding. This area has been really soggy as of late. Certainly has. Thanks, you, Molly. When I was like, birds of a feather flock together because I was like, I bet Molly could be out here running in this weather. I bet she wouldn't have a problem with it. Uh, that's more of my husband that you're probably thinking about. He's one of those runners that just <laughs> does those things just because they can. Uh, but Felicia, you and I, we our desks are next to each other at the Weather Channel. And I feel like yeah. just about a week and a half ago, we were talking about how we were getting ready for summer. Uh, and the next thing I know, you're in Minneapolis in, in all winter gear. Are yeah. people, you know, anyone that you've talked to, are they kind of in the same mindset? They were kind of getting ready for the warmer weather and now they're right back into winter? You know what, Molly? I'm actually Snow shocked. Day for sure. Felicia, yeah. thank you so much there. I know that uh, even though you're not a fan of the, the colder weather, you're looking forward to snow day too. Let's talk about the forecast for this area because we're seeing winter storm Sawyer move in very quickly and not just in the Twin Cities, but areas all across the northern tier, the upper Midwest, the central and northern plains. We have a bona fide winter storm bearing down. In fact, so... Hey, there's the first weekend of spring. It's also Palm Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Recharge. I'm Paul Goodlow. And I'm Molly McCollum. And I'm Lynette Charles. And America's weekend depends on the weather. You saw those pretty flowers. I'm not going to try to name the flowers because I'm not daffodils. a flower person. Were those daffodils? daffodils? But that's the bad thing is that people planted and then some people got the snow. They're still in winter. They're out there covering up all yes. of the bulbs <laughs> one yeah. by one or as much as they can to try to save them because the, the colder air is doing a number. But the, the crocus, the tulips, mm -hmm. the the, the the daffodils, they're okay with the snow. Okay. They're the first things of spring, okay. but it's the seasonals that people are planting. That's a big concern because look at our snapshot. We have, yeah, winter. Hey there, good Sunday to you. Welcome to Weekend Recharge. I'm Paul Goodlow. I'm Molly McCollum. And I'm Lynette Charles. And America's weekend depends on the weather. So I can't get that image of the beautiful flowers out of my mind. Uh, I know Molly likes flowers and gardening a little bit, right? Uh, I'm more of an indoor plant Indoor gal. plant. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Do you like to garden? I like it all. You do? Okay. I, but I'm simple. I like just to cut the grass. We know that, though. Cut the grass. We know you're simple. <laughs> oh, wow. Kitty's got claws. <laughs> <laughs> you set me up. That was low hanging fruit. I'm I just, just saying. Uh, <laughs> I want to. I can't oh, get out. No, no, you, you started with exactly. Me this you started. Anyway, yeah, let's, wasn't on camera let, though. Let's so move there's on. no proof. Let's move on. I want to take you into New Orleans. We have a little bit of cloud cover right now. Mix of sun and clouds as we go throughout the day. But all in all, your Sunday, it looks great. But then things start to change, especially as we get into Monday afternoon. The entire state of Louisiana will see thunderstorms, and we're watching for damaging wind. That's probably the greatest threat, as well as a few embedded tornadoes. So let's look at the area under the threat for severe weather. Once again, includes the entire state of Louisiana, but also Jackson, Mississippi, Hattiesburg, up through Greenville, portions of Arkansas, over into East Texas. That's where this line of storms will begin. And yes, there is a tornado threat, a Torcon of three. Uh, what you see in the red pinkish color and you're thinking okay that's on the lower end of the scale it's not a big deal but here's what a Torcon of three means severe thunderstorms are likely and a few tornadoes are possible and when we see these tornadoes you likely won't see them because they're going to be embedded along this line wrapped in rain and some of them might even been happening through the overnight hours so let's get you the timing on this, this is three o'clock you're trying to get through your Monday you're trying to head home after work uh, trying to pick up the kids from school if they're not on spring break this week. Little Rock all the way down to Alexandria, Lake Charles, Baton Rouge by the dinner time hour. These will be knocking on your door. And then through the overnight hours, we bring in places like Jackson as well as Hattiesburg all the way up into Nashville, seeing some rain. And then eventually these weekend as they move into Birmingham by very early on Tuesday morning. So that is the threat for overnight tornadoes, especially in areas like Mississippi. So you'll have to have a way to get warnings, something that will wake you up in the middle of the night. But we're we're not done after Monday. Tuesday, we still have a threat along some of our Gulf Coast states and then up through portions of the Ohio Valley. We're going to continue that severe weather threat with gusty damaging winds and hail being our primary concerns. Let's follow this Tuesday into Wednesday. Yes, you can see the snow way up in parts of the northern tier, but then we bring rain across parts of the southeast and the deep south. And Paul, that is one place that we do not need another drop of rain. No, we do not. Thanks, Molly.